Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how to create an Elementor Pro sticky header using the Elementor page builder. In this tutorial, we will be creating two different versions of the sticky header with two additional variations of each version. The first version will utilize the Elementor Flexbox layout, while the second version will make use of the Elementor section column layout. In the first variation, when the user scrolls or hovers over a menu item that has a submenu, the transparent header background will smoothly transition into a solid colored background with a shadow effect. This animation aims to enhance the visual experience and provide a seamless navigation experience. The second variation retains all the features of the first variation, with the exception of the background style. Instead of a solid colored background, it incorporates a modern and sleek semi-transparent glass morphism background. This gives the header a contemporary look and feel, especially when scrolling or interacting with menus that have submenus. Both variations also include floating animated menu labels that help draw attention to specific menus, further enhancing the overall design and usability of the sticky header. In order to create exact same element or sticky header as shown in the video intro, you will require two things. The first requirement is the Elementor plugin with a pro plan. If you don't already have one, please consider purchasing through my affiliate link given in the video description. The price of the product will be the same, whether you buy through my link or directly, but buying through my link will support this channel. The second thing is that I have provided a detailed explanation of each step, so I encourage you to watch the entire video without skipping. However, if you prefer a simpler solution and don't wish to create it yourself, I have got you covered. I am offering both versions of the ready-made templates for sale in my Gumroad shop at a highly affordable price of $6.99 each. Additionally, for a limited time, you can purchase both versions together as a bundle offer for only $9.99, which is a massive 28% discount from the regular price. If you want to save even more on my already affordable templates, then here is exciting news for you. If you watch the entire video without skipping, you will discover an additional 10% discount coupon code, bringing your total savings to an amazing 42%. Don't miss out on this limited time offer, head to my Gumroad store now and take advantage of these unbeatable deals. This tutorial is divided into three parts. In the first part, we will see how to import and customize the downloaded template. In the second part, we will create the Elementor Pro sticky header using the Flexbox layout. Finally, in the third and last part, we will create the exact same sticky header using the section column layout. Now, let's first see how you can import and customize the downloaded template. After completing your order, you will receive a zip file that includes the templates and a README instruction manual. To import the template into your WordPress website, simply extract the zip file to any location on your computer. If you have purchased both templates as part of the bundle offer, you will find two separate folders within the extracted folder. Each folder corresponds to a different layout, the Flexbox layout and the section column layout. Within each folder, you will find a JSON template file along with a README document that provides detailed instructions. Next, log into your WordPress dashboard and ensure that both the Elementor Pro and Elementor Free plugins are installed. Before importing the Elementor Pro sticky header, you need to optimize two settings in your Elementor plugin. To do so, hover over the Elementor tab and click on the Settings option. Now switch to the Advanced tab and enable the Unfiltered File Upload setting. Next, switch to the Features tab and check if the Flexbox container layout is activated. By default, this feature is not enabled in a fresh installation of the Elementor plugin. To import the Elementor sticky header template based on the Flexbox layout, we first need to activate the Flexbox layout. You can do this by selecting Active from the drop-down menu next to the Flexbox container label, and save the changes. It's important to note that activating the Flexbox layout will apply to the entire website. If you're not ready to use the Flexbox layout site-wide, it's recommended to use the section column-based version of the Elementor Pro Sticky header template. To import the template, 
Hover over the Template tab and click on the Theme Builder option. Now click on the sidebar menu named Header. Next, in the top right corner of the window, click on this icon. This will prompt a window to appear. Now, click on this button and locate the folder where you have extracted the zip file. Now, select the JSON file of the template variation you want to import, and then click this button. Once the template is successfully imported, then this pop-up will appear on your screen. Next, close the pop-up and click on the header tab in the Theme Builder window. You will find the newly imported header in the list. Now, let's set the display conditions and make it live on our website. To set the display condition, simply click on this link, and then click on the Add Condition button. Once you click on the same, then this drop-down will appear. Using this drop-down you can decide where your sticky header to show up. For instance, if you want this header to appear on a single page, then select the singular from the first drop-down. Select the page from the second drop-down. And in the third drop-down, search and select the page where you want to show your elemental sticky header. If you want to show this header in more than one location, you can do so by clicking on this button and adding a new condition. For now, We'll set the header to appear across the entire site. So simply select entire site from the drop down and click on the button to save and close. That's it. You now have a beautiful sticky header that's ready to be customized to your liking. Don't worry if you're not sure how to do it. I'll be explaining everything in the next section of the video. So keep watching. To begin customizing your sticky header, click on the pencil icon to open it in the Elementor editor. Now, open the Elementor Navigator tool. Please note, the customization process for both the Flexbox version and the Section Column version is the same since both header templates share a similar structure. In the Elementor Navigator, you'll see that each element has been given a distinct name so that you can easily recognize them by their names. For instance, to change the logo image, expand the logo container. Within the logo container, you will come across three image elements. The first image element corresponds to the logo image displayed before scrolling, the second one is for the logo image displayed after scrolling, and the third one is specifically for the logo image in the mobile menu. If you prefer the logo color to remain consistent before and after scrolling, you can use the same logo image for both the before scroll and after scroll elements. To change the logo image, Select the corresponding logo image element from the navigator and change it under the content tab. To customize the menu, select the WordPress menu widget in the navigator. Go to the content tab and choose the desired menu from the drop down options. If needed, you can also create a new menu or edit an existing one using this link. Now, to customize the color and typography of the menu in the before scroll status, Switch to the Style tab and make the desired modifications. Next, using this drop-down option, you can customize the submenu drop-down appearance on the desktop as well as the entire menu drop-down appearance on tablet and mobile devices. Additionally, using this drop-down option, you can customize the mobile menu toggle hamburger icon, which is only visible on tablet and mobile devices. Now, let's see. How you can change the color appearance of the remaining components during the after scroll animation. To do so, select the main wrapper from the navigator, then go to the advanced tab and expand the custom CSS option. Now here, you will see several CSS variables, let me explain them one by one. The first variable controls the transition time and behavior of the animation during scrolling. The second variable determines the background color and transparency of the glassy background after scrolling. If you prefer to remove the glass morphism effect, you need to delete this variable value and set a desired hex color value to customize the background appearance according to your preferences. The third variable controls the haziness of the glassy background after scrolling, while the fourth variable determines the border of the glassy background. Moving on, the fifth. Sixth and seventh variables are responsible for the text color, text hover color, and background hover color of the submenus on desktop devices. Similarly, the eighth, ninth, and tenth variables define the menu color, 
menu hover color, and active menu color after scrolling. Next, the 11th, 12th, 13th, and 14th variables are used to customize the box shadow and background color of the first and second menu badges. Please note that the badge elements may not be visible on the editor page, but once you save and refresh the page where your header is set to display, then the badge elements will automatically appear. Finally, the 15th, 16th, and 17th variables are responsible for controlling the top padding, bottom padding, and submenu vertical position after scrolling. Now let's see how you can change the badge position on the menu. To change the badge position on the menu, select the HTML element from the navigator and go to the content tab. Currently, the first green badge is positioned on the first menu item from the left side. To change the position, simply select this portion of the CSS selector and press Ctrl plus F twice on your keyboard. In the Replace field, enter the desired relocation menu position enclosed within parentheses. Finally, click on the All button next to the Replace button to apply the changes. Similarly, select this portion from the second red badge selector and press Ctrl plus F twice on your keyboard. In the Replace field, enter the new relocation menu position enclosed within parentheses. Finally, click on the All button to replace all instances with the updated position. Next, to change the badge text, locate these two string variables at the bottom of the code snippet. Simply replace the default text within the quotation marks with your desired text. If you wish to hide any badges on your Elementor Pro sticky header, you can comment out the respective code blocks. For instance, to hide the first green badge, comment out this code block. Likewise, if you only want to hide the second red badge, comment out the code block for the second badge. Next, in the button container, you will find a red colored button, but not this countdown timer. The timer widget used here is a custom Elementor widget created by me. However, I will replace it with a native Elementor countdown timer widget. If you are interested in getting this advanced custom countdown widget with unique and useful features, it is available for purchase in my Gumroad shop. Unlike the native Elementor countdown widget, this custom widget offers features such as an auto midnight reset option for a continuous sense of urgency custom reset interval for flexibility, fixed expiry date setting for a fixed deadline, ripple animation to enhance visitor attention, and more. Now that we have successfully customized the imported Elementor Pro sticky header template, you can proceed to customize the remaining elements such as the logo, menu, and button. If you have not purchased the template yet, I highly recommend doing so. You can find the purchase link in the video description and in the pinned comment. However, if you prefer to create everything from scratch, you can watch the next parts of the video by clicking on the end screen video. In those parts, I will guide you through the complete process of creating this header from scratch. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next part of the tutorial.